It came to my attention that there will be three pro-abortion resolutions introduced at this city council meeting. Not since slavery has America given such a brazen effort to dehumanize a class of image bearers. Throughout world history, the same tired arguments and advocacy for these atrocities are always used. Quote, that's not human. That's just a black man. Or that's not human, it's just a Jew. It's always the same. And because we're all made in God's image, no matter how corrupted by sin we may be, our consciences must be assuaged in order to continue with the evils in which we partake. The issue of abortion is no different. Speak to any person in favor of abortion rights and they will say something to the tune of a fetus is not a human life, it's a potential human life. Or it's not a human, it's just a clump of cells. Of course, this is a fallacy. Scientifically and medically speaking, the facts are not on the side of those who argue, argue in favor of abortion. Devoid of scientific fact, one has to resort to philosophical arguments in order to suppress that truth. The truth that a fetus or an embryo is in fact a human life. As Stephen Hawking once said, philosophy is dead. Human life is not valuable because it's wanted or because it can walk or think or feel pain. Human life is valuable because rich or poor, royalty or peasant, black, white, brown, etc., every human being bears the very image of God himself and his moral law written on, his, on their hearts. The greatest truth being suppressed is that God has something to say regarding his image bearers. God is so pro-life that he requires a reckoning for the shedding of innocent blood. And that reckoning is life for life. He ordained governments and their representatives the authority to take life from one who takes innocent life. No one has authority unless it's granted to them. As city council, you've been granted a certain level of authority and that authority doesn't derive from your city charter, your electorate, the state or federal constitution. That authority is given by the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords, Jesus Christ. You would be wise to take into consideration what exactly God has to say about what you're about to introduce since ultimately you will be answering to him regarding what you did with the authority you've been granted. When God spoke through the prophet Jeremiah regarding this subject, he said, Quote, because the people have forsaken me and have profaned this place by making offerings in it to other gods whom neither they nor their fathers nor the kings of Judah have known. And because they have filled this place with the blood of innocence and have built the high places of Baal to burn their sons in the fire as burnt offerings to Baal, which I did not command or decree, nor did it come into my mind. Therefore, behold, days are coming, declares the Lord, when this place shall no more be called Thank Topheth you. or the, the valley of the son of him, but Thank the you. valley of Thank you. Your time has expired. Thank you. And our next speaker is Philip York. York. Hello. Um, this is from God's Word. Proverbs. Please state your name. My name is Philip York. I'm with um, In Neighborhood for the Record. Thank you. Trafford, PA, um, Proverbs 24:11. Rescue those who are being taken away to death. Hold back those who are stumbling to the slaughter. If you say, behold, we do not know this. Does not he who weighs the heart perceive it? Does not he who keeps watch over your soul know it? And will he not repay man according to his work? Crisis pregnancy centers are actually doing that. They're rescuing babies. They're providing services for women. Planned Parenthood and Allegheny Reproductive are murdering babies. Which side will you be on? I have a quick story about my own life. My, my mom gave birth to my, my sister at 16 and me at 17. She didn't choose to murder me. And none of y'all sitting in here, none of y'all mothers murdered you. You're breathing air. Because God decreed it and he kept you alive through Jesus Christ and grace through you to you by your mom not making that choice. But anyway, she could have made that choice. I wouldn't be standing here. My sister wouldn't be standing here. And that's six grandkids that wouldn't be here as well. And that's happened 63 million times in this country. We're wiping out whole generations of image bearers of God. These babies are knit together in their mother's womb. By, and, and the Bible says all things are made through Christ and for Christ. 
We cannot continue to slaughter them. And if you're for it, you're against God. So the, the call is to repent and believe in the gospel. And there's forgiveness and righteousness found in Christ. God sent his son, who was born of a virgin. He never sinned. He lived a perfect life that God demands us to live. He, God hates sin and must punish it. He sent his son to take the punishment for our sin, including baby murder. He also didn't stay dead after he died in our place and absorbed the wrath that we deserve. He raised from the dead. Now he's seated at the right hand of the Father as king. He's your king and my king. Whether you want to make that legitimate or not, he is. And we all will have to stand before him. Now you either bow the knee now and, and make your law according to his law, or you will be held accountable in the next life. You got to stand before him. We all do. And why wouldn't you want to obey the God who keeps you alive? One more thing. Take a breath. You borrowed that from Jesus Christ. He sustains you right now. Please stop supporting baby murder. It's evil. It's not a choice. It's evil. It's genocide. And it's a billion dollar enterprise. I, I pray that God will grant you repentance and you would not thwart the processes of, of women getting help at these pregnancy centers. Because you'll be standing in opposition to God. Support them. Don't regulate, put extra regulations on them. I pray you repent in Jesus' name. Thank you. And our next speaker is Aaron Pratt. Aaron Pratt. Aaron Pratt online? Yes, I am online. Hi. Can you hear me? Yes, please continue. Good morning and thank you for this time. I am standing in opposition to Ordinance 522, 23, and 24, Title 6, Chapter 620, 603, and 607. The definition of abortion in each of those documents says this, abortion means the use of any means to terminate the clinically diagnosable pregnancy of a woman with knowledge that termination by those means will, with reasonable likelihood, cause the death of the unborn child. So what we see here is number one, thank goodness that Pittsburgh knows what a woman is, but number two, they admit that it is a child that is in the womb of that mother. To terminate that pregnancy is murder. Exodus chapter 20, verse 13 says, Thou shalt not murder. That is a command from the Holy God. We who stand in Christ, we stand with him. We are to deliver those who are being taken away to death. And those who are scattering to slaughter, it says, Oh, hold them back. You who sit as city officials are supposed to stand and protect that life. You are supposed to be a minister of God for good, an avenger who brings wrath on those who practice evil, yet you let those who murder babies in this city slide with a pass. You say in your title that from January of 2020 through December of 2020 that 3,000 babies were murdered in Pittsburgh, and you want to let that slide, what you are doing is the opposite, and God's wrath by, abides on you because you are not doing what he has put you in place to do. Abortion is murder, and those who enable it, celebrate it, and especially perform it are under God's wrath, and it is a wrath that can only find relief through the Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ alone, and I urge you today to repent and believe in the gospel of Jesus Christ. That is the only way that you can escape his judgment. This city is under God's judgment. This state is under God's judgment. This nation is under God's judgment because people fail to stand for the innocent babies who are in the womb of their mothers where they should be the most protected and they are not. Yet you celebrate their murder and you want to protect those who come from out of state to murder their children. You want to protect the abortionists who murdered the children, yet you have no regard for the babies that are in the womb of their mothers, and you 